Hello everyone. Hi, I hope you are doing great. So myself Muskan and a lot of people know about me. So this is my first video of 2024. So first of all, happy new year to everyone. I know I'm a little late, but so 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 we are going to start 2024 first video today. And I'm going to start it with one of the most common questions that is kind of asked by people that are there in my DMs, Scan, how can be a data analyst? How should I start learning? Which resources should I proceed with? So I am going to make this a very small video. This will be a video of probably 10-15 uh, minutes at max. And I'll be telling you about few tech skills that you can learn. And I can also give you the resources of it. Some will be free, some will be paid. So whatever you want to go ahead with, you can go ahead with. And uh, Please, I will uh, suggest this, don't go with any course that is charging a lot, okay, like charging in lakhs, I will say. It is uh, really not that hard to learn anything that is related to data analysis and unless and until you don't want to waste your money, please don't go ahead with them. And if you have a lot of money, please, please donate it, but please don't buy these courses. Okay, so let's first start with the four things that you will probably need the most when you are working as a data analyst and if they are like the pillars on which a person who knows data analysis will stand okay so the four things that we are starting with are um second let me reduce the thickness yep excel sql power bi so in Power BI, you can uh, like in place of that, you can also choose Tableau, but as Power BI is more in demand, I'll be probably going ahead with the resources related to that. And the fourth one that I'll suggest is uh, Python. Yeah. So these are the four things that a data analyst generally possess, major skills that are needed. And I'll proceed straight away with how you can go ahead and learn these. So First thing first, if somebody wants to ask ki, uh, how much time scan will it take to learn, can I master it in like one month? No, we cannot master it in three hours, we cannot master it in one month. If you give enough time per day, then at least four months you will take to learn the skills at a level that you get a job, okay? Uh, intermediate level I'll call it and after that you will have to you know work on your projects work on your resume make some quality projects side by side optimize your LinkedIn so there are a lot of things that kind of uh, come together and help you get a job so it's not a straight away path that if you complete it in three months we get a job it depends on how much time you are giving if you can give 10 hours a day then maybe you can complete it in two two months but if you are giving like one to two hours a day maybe you will take six months so that is the first thing that i want to clear out and also at the same time uh, if i'm getting to make this video i just want to tell you if somebody is saying that you can learn just power bi in three hours it's fake nobody can learn power bi in three hours even a person who is working as in a senior role senior power bi developer or senior data analyst they can kind of uh, say the same that what I'm trying to say, uh, please don't fall in that trap. You you will think that 9 rupees is just a small amount or 20 rupees is a small amount. Please, but don't go ahead and join those because after a while they'll probably start marketing their courses that will be in 10,000 or 20,000 per course. So, okay, let's start with the Excel now. So for Excel, uh, I have few things that I'll probably say Excel when people generally come to me and talk to me they say that we have worked on Excel we know how to work with Excel so Excel is needed right Excel is a good skill that you have to master and I will tell you the videos that can help you master it okay so there is this uh, tutorial point YT YouTube pe, this this entire tutorial okay and it is like it has a lot of things covered okay uh, and those things are probably the one that you'll be using a lot in excel 
some important things that you need to uh, make sure that you're covering are the lookup okay h lookup pivot table pivot charts and all please make sure that you are covering that and i'll show you the resources at the same time so if you can yeah this is the one yeah so this is ms excel introduction beginner's guide it is it has like 101 videos some shortcuts how to validate data formatting data conditional formatting pivot table and all the things are covered there in basic for a beginner level to understand the videos are very short that is something that i particularly like so you can make a target of completing like three or five videos per day and uh, like at the same time you are um, kind of doing the same thing so please try this out this is a very great course that i'll suggest okay second thing that i'll suggest is a, a paid course okay this is a paid course and like a post everybody who knows me knows that i am like a great fan of mr dhawal patel and at the same time he has an entire boot camp uh let me just write it here so this boot camp is not just for excel it has all the four things covered i generally don't uh, promote stuff that are you know worth a lot of money so i think that this is affordable and the quality is good so i'll probably ask you to do this and uh, they also have a scholarship tests going on from like day after day so you can participate in projects do stuff and you uh, get to get some 15% 20% scholarship and i personally like this a lot i have been a part of bootcamp 1.0 i have seen it and the quality is good okay so this is one thing that i'll suggest uh, again but this is a paid resource so if you want to go ahead with the paid resource i suggest going ahead with this one and uh, it has excel covered in great depth let me just click on this and show it to you yeah so we can see excel and basic statistics so getting started and everything so we have some advanced excel advanced sales analytics finance analytics okay pivot table pivot uh power pivot and data transformation using power query i think that these are important things and at the same time it has been clubbed together so that you have a resource that is straight away going to work for you okay second uh, this is the second resource that i was talking about if you want to go ahead with a uh, with resources that are not paid again i will suggest going for the free code camp video and free code camp again i'll talk about free code camp in upcoming uh, tech skills that i'll be talking about so they already have an excel playlist i checked it out and it's beautifully made okay let me just show it to you yeah so microsoft excel full course full excel tutorial for beginners i find it that it covers the basic parts very in a very uh, practical manner so if you're a beginner and if you don't want to go ahead with the paid courses this is one that you can try it so next resource that i'll be probably talking about is going to be another youtube channel so yeah it's called the person is called chandu and he makes beautiful videos on excel power bi data analytics i have been through some of the videos and i personally like them a lot so again we have a playlist here hmm. so one playlist that i'll suggest is this one excel challenges and homework this is once you have covered excel okay so if you want to if you have covered something please remember to practice it all okay do it do some challenges do some projects you will find a lot of projects here hr analytics with excel excel challenges and homework most like 
advanced uh, excel form the examples if you just kind of just write as a like on youtube just write the name of the creator and just write chandu excel and the excel post will just pop up so that is something that i will suggest okay uh, so that is about uh, excel okay then if you are fully like fully prepared with excel you think that i am fine with it please go ahead there is this website called as excelpracticeonline.com it has all the things mentioned here okay and at the same time you get to practice those stuff okay you can just write here just click here and you can see which stuff you want to practice for example you want to practice some uh, search okay excel search you want to practice you can just click on it it has the explanation mentioned here okay and at the same time it has options to practice as well and this is what i will suggest if you want to work ahead with it so you can see here practice online short course if you want to learn about it excel exercises practice test practice data and so on so i think i have given a lot of resources on excel and let's proceed with the next resource uh, with the next tech skill i'll say and that is going to be of uh, SQL. So when people start learning SQL, one problem that they generally encounter is that they learn all the theoretical concepts but don't practice it well. Okay. So this is one thing that I will suggest please don't do. Please practice in uh please practice at the same time once you are reading about the theory. There there are beautiful websites available. So one of my favorite one is W3 Schools. You can just search it you will have a lot of sql tutorials ready and um, let me just yeah so here also we have sql ka entire sql course you have okay uh, free code camp mein you will find every course excel sql python power bi so sql tutorials please go ahead watch the videos beautiful videos uh, this four hours one is one of the most famous videos of them it has beginner friendly but at the same time it will cover all the things that are generally needed okay then uh, one thing that i will suggest a uh, videos video tutorial that i like a lot is of rishabh mishra he has sql tutorials and the video qualities are good i find the content has Content is made in such a way that you can follow it easily. Yeah, SQL introduction and uh, it's an introductory course. Okay, one of the other famous one is of Mr. Ankit Bansal. He also has a lot of videos on SQL. I cannot forget to mention him. Beautiful things. Okay, uh, you will also get fan level questions when you are trying to. Uh, see the videos on this particular channel so please uh, if you are going to proceed further you can try this out and my favorite i cannot miss him tech tfq he has helped me a lot in learning sql the concept quality the ease of understanding is my god like above anything so please go ahead with this one also if you are somebody who wants to work ahead with this okay so beginner to advance this is the playlist you can proceed with this okay at the same time if you want you can watch some videos in my channel as well like also keep try i also try to post uh stuff okay so my channel will just show you quickly Okay, sorry, this one, this is not the one. Let me, I'll show it to you. I'll just put it like this. Yeah, so it's Muskan data analysis. I also have posted a few questions that you can do after you have learned SQL. They are hacker and questions. 
I also have some stuff related to uh, SQL posted already. So you can go ahead and please, if you want to practice, you can use any resource. That's again up to you. Uh, Hackerang certification. After you have completed everything, okay, on SQL tutorial, whatever you want to choose, you can choose it. You can do Hackerang certification. Hackerang certification is free and you get it in C levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Please go ahead and do it just to know where do you stand at the moment. Okay. And again, for the paid resources, I suggest the Code Basics one. It is beautifully made again and has all the concepts that are required to be a data analyst covered in it. Okay. So, this is about SQL, how you can learn it. For practicing, remember I have given you a few videos, options already. But if you want to practice on a platform, these are the top three choices of mine for a beginner. HackerRank, LeetCode. LeetCode may you have uh, top 50 SQL questions mentioned there. Then you have DataLemur. DataLemur is if you want to practice some uh, questions that are really asked in farm companies. And one more that I like is SQL Bold that will also help you out. Again, I want to uh, mention this resource at the same time. This is LearnSQL.com, free SQL courses they have. So if you want to proceed with some particular one, for example, if I want to work with window functions or something like that, I can just go on this particular course. Let me, yeah, window functions practice set. So you can just see LearnSQL.com blog free SQL courses. You can just uh, click on this and the courses if you can see it's free okay so generally it is a free course of the month so you can proceed like january 2024 they have a free course february 2024 they have a free course and so on so you can proceed with one free course per month and decide to complete it and then proceed with the next one okay so that is what uh, i will suggest okay then Coming to the third one, third part is your Power BI and Power BI, uh, first things first that I just want to cover right now is that Microsoft already has beautiful Power BI documentation written and I think that it is uh, a beautiful way to start it. Okay, they also have some videos whenever you open Power BI, you will see that green tab coming up. There are few videos that are suggested there, but at the same time, you have the Power BI documentation here. It's a beautiful thing. You can start with this. It's a free thing. Uh, Power BI, what is Power BI and all that. You can see, you can see all the docs that are mentioned here. Similarly, uh, if you want to work ahead with Power BI, uh, in a paid way i will suggest a udemy course it, uh, it's not generally that expensive generally udemy has sales one weekend or any other festivals that are coming up so this is a course that i'll suggest microsoft power bi desktop for business intelligence 2023 it's a beautiful course uh, good rating bestseller course by maven analytics they have the best course on power bi according to me that you can proceed with again if you don't want to go ahead with this one if you have the code basics one they have power bi 2.0 already this thing is already covered but if you're somebody who, who is just looking for power bi they already have a course on power bi also and i like that course a lot it's uh, it's very cheap and that is what i'm trying to say yeah so it's um second yeah this is the one only so you will learn the power bi from scratch and it's like a beautiful course designed for that so you can work with this okay and uh, once you are done with power bi like i think that these two three resources are very good uh, i just again want to talk about uh, rishabh mishra's power bi tutorial uh, so he has Power BI projects that are mentioned that he has made and those are very great one. You can learn at the same time when you are uh, making the project. So let me just, yeah. 
so this is the one that i'm talking about sales dashboard uh this is just the name is not written but i remember we have hr analytics dashboard and everything covered so you can choose any project that is hardly one hour long so you are at the same time learning about it then you are making a project so it's kind of a great thing to work with so when you are learning power bi please 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 don't forget about dax okay dax tutorial very important okay dax is like uh, a thing that can help you that can help the interview go to your particular favor so please don't forget about it uh, the courses that i have mentioned either of maven analytics uh, the one with the code basics they have covered dax in depth so if you also have some dax tutorials let me just open it you can proceed with this one or uh, second yeah yeah i was talking about this one so this is also a great video and it is like the thing that i like about this video is that it has examples okay the another one that i will particularly ask you uh, to proceed with for the dax is if you don't want to work ahead with uh, the tutorials in a video format so there are power bi dax functions a lot of blogs that you can proceed with so either you can start learning from it that is again totally up to you okay but what i will suggest is that please don't fear dax it's a good thing uh, it can make the interview go in your favor okay and uh, this is the website that i was talking about yeah sorry dax guy yeah so that site is a good website i personally like it and this website is as you as the name suggests is mostly related to that okay so this is about excel sql power bi now let me straight come to the python part so uh, the thing is when you start a data analyst thing right so uh, you start a data analyst roadmap a lot of people say that python is not required so that may be true in certain criteria some uh, if you just go and search for some job links so it may show that uh, like they don't have pa uh, python mentioned there sorry so it's fine if you don't want to learn it it's fine but if you learn it it adds an added advantage to your profile okay so python a lot of people don't learn just because they think that it's very hard okay but it is not the case that i particularly think of python is very easy especially for data analysts look okay you don't have to dwell deep into it you don't have to do uh dsa questions and you don't have to for like particularly focus on oops concept that much you can have the surface level knowledge of it and still work on python because when you are talking about python right so in python for a data analyst these three libraries are the one that actually shape that entire thing so the first library that i want to talk about is numpy another one is uh, pandas and the next one is matplotlib instead of matplotlib you can use cborn as well so these are the ones that i generally ask people to start with okay so for uh, python tutorial w3 schools best it offers all the things on um, python related to a data analyst so you can see you have to start from here you can skip few things like classes objects and all you don't have to go in depth if you are learning learn it on the surface level at least for the role of data analyst okay but if you are going to work as a python developer somewhere or if you are just doing basic dsa questions in python you may need this okay then these are the things that i want you to do numpy pandas and matplotlib is here python matplotlib numpy pandas and matplotlib beautiful tutorial here everything covered from basics to advanced here and again let me come back to free code camp here and show you the data analyst python course that they have 
this is again the free one so you can see data analysis with python they have course in, in hindi and english both so you can proceed either with this course or that course and even if you leave out python you still get a lot of uh, opportunities to sit for the role of a data analyst but i will suggest that you proceed with that like please go ahead and learn python if you can see here it is also mentioned numpy pandas matplotlib and c1 the four libraries that i literally load five seconds ago is mentioned here so please go ahead and learn this one and that is that these are the four tech skills that are generally used and i kind of made a video in whole depth I gave you five six options for each of these for python wc schools i prefer the best everything covered in short sense and then once you are done with this i will suggest please go to kegel kegel.com and come to learn this is the website it has uh, certificates that you can get for free just if you learn python okay if you learn uh, basic data visualization pandas sql everything is there so get it if you want to learn also this is a course kind of thing all the things are mentioned in a blog you first read the blog understand it then do the certification intro to programming python pandas data visualization intro to sql advanced sql a lot of things are present data cleaning whatever you need for uh, data analysis a lot of such skills are present here so go ahead practice this here they have exercises that you have to complete to get the certificate as you can see this is the tutorial and then they you have the exercise okay so this is what i'll suggest if you want to start your journey as a data analyst i've given you enough resources i've given you the best ones that some of them i have tried some of them i have read about some of them uh, like have helped me to learn these skills so these are the things that i suggest please uh, if you want to go with recorded courses go ahead with them if you want to go with live courses you can go ahead but please don't fall into scams please don't play a, pay a lot of money for a job guarantee programs because it's not true guys that is the only thing i have to say okay there's no shortcut to success all the things are mentioned here if if you watch the video till the end you'll have like a list of resources that you can utilize pick one or two out of them start your journey and the on the end i'll just like to say please practice along your theoretical concepts right if you're doing a if you have if you have watched a tutorial for example you've watched a tutorial on sub queries please practice few questions on that concept if you're just going to watch the theory it will not work okay uh, udemy has beautiful courses if you still feel that uh, you want some other courses from udemy or some other thing that you want to just kind of ask about feel free to write it in the comments i'll be more than happy to help you out with that so all the best guys um, if you're starting your journey now i hope that you stick through it take a step forward please learn the skills please optimize your linkedin please make quality projects please make ats friendly resume everything comes together for uh, everything comes together and when it comes together then only you get a job okay if you know about every tech skill but you are not able to communicate with the person who is taking your interview it is still going to go in vain okay so that is all from my end thank you so much for sticking around for so long and bye bye